From the command line, we can use Maven to generate the basic folder structure and construct a simple POM file for us. This command here, Maven archetype generate, etc., etc., fairly complicated, but that's going to set up the basic folder structure and everything we need to get Maven working. Now I took this from the Maven in 5 minutes guide. So if you want to, you could follow the instructions in here and you'll get a good handle on what you're doing. This is the basic command that we're going to run. I've just changed some of the basic commands in here to set up the different group ID. Now the group ID is really important when you start pushing your application into a Maven repository. I'm not going to worry about it too much, but I'm, you can change this for whatever repository structure that you use at work. So let me just get started. I am using conmu here. It's one of the tools mentioned in the setup web driver. This is the replacement that I use to help me manage my DOS windows. You can use console too. That's a very fine tool for doing this work as well. It's uh, simpler to get your head around. Not quite as flexible, but good. So I'm just going to use conmu for this. So I am going to just copy and paste that code that you saw in the slide. Paste it in here. It will save me making mistakes as we type it because doing this stuff in the command line is horrible. Maven archetype generate. So we're going to generate a basic structure using the quick start archetype and we're going to have it set up as the group ID of com.seleniumsimplified.webdriver. You can change that. And the basic artifact that I'm going to use is the webdriver basic. So that's the folder that it should create. And we're going to say, do not prompt me as you do this. So if you've got Maven installed and you type this command in, it should work pretty much as we're doing here. So if I quickly see what we've got, so we've got a folder now called webdriver basics. And you can see that that has our basic folder structure. We've got a source folder. We've got the main and test separated out with the Java language, because that's what we're using. Then com.seleniumsimplified.webdriver is our root package structure. That's where we're going to put our code under, or I am. You can change that if you want, but that's the structure I'm going to use. And in the code, the example code that supports this project, that's the project structure that we've got. I have a quick look in WebDriver Basics. You can see that there's a POM file being created, the POM.xml. This is the project object model file. This is the thing that defines our project, has all our dependencies, and is what Maven uses to control its actions. So having a quick look at this, you can see that the packaging is jar. So this will, when I do Maven package, it will create a jar file for me. And we've got a dependency in here for JUnit 3.8.1. That's a little bit old for us, so we will be amending that. But I will do all that work in the actual IDE. Now, having created the POM file, importing it into the IDE is a lot easier. And part of the reason I'm doing it from the command line in this way is because when you come to use the example source code, as I assume you will to have a look through, you will need to import the project. So you're going to use the same steps I am about to do to import the project into the IDE when you look at the example code.